And then after that, my darling, I shall uh, eventually untie you and I will go and retrieve the duck and goose from the closet. Oh, wait, wait, where are you going, my darling? Please come back. Oh, for God's sake. Jeez. Oh, oh, hello, everybody. It's Megalithic here. Didn't see you there. Yes, well, uh, welcome to this video, and uh, in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be looking at uh, the most recent car or vehicle, at least released by Rockstar as part of the Casino Heist DLC. Okay, now let's go on inside. Okay, we're in my offices now. Uh, here we are. I must warn you, ladies and gentlemen, don't speak to my secretary. You know, she obtains a uh, wild fowl for unsavory purposes you know sick woman sick woman okay well never mind that ladies and gentlemen uh, we're here at the uh, the maze bank offices uh, on this occasion to have a look at the uh, the d class a drift yosemite don't you know uh, uh, ken blocks climb karna uh, so why don't we go and have a look and the yosemite drift uh, you know, the drift yosemite can be found under the uh, southern san andreas super auto side and there we go as you can see retailing for a price of one million three hundred thousand dollars ladies and gentlemen gentlemen or a, a trade price of uh, just under the million nine hundred eighty one thousand and uh, now I don't have uh, the trade price I'm going to purchase it the full quack there ladies and gentlemen we're going to send them on up to Hillcrest and we're going to be getting there in the gym karma ladies and gentlemen this is the, the class A drift tamper you know uh, Ken Block's uh, gym karma vehicle there we go and okay sliding around the corner and we're going to take it on down the street jolly good rather interesting car this you know when i first purchased it you know it didn't seem to slide all that much I had to do the old uh, wheel shooty thing to get it to uh slip around a lot but it does seem that uh that rockstar buffed it at some point along the line because uh, uh now it slides all over the shop and really is quite good fun okay right where's my other car right okay there it is okay listen well here we are we are we're inside my uh my hillcrest residence garage you know ladies and gentlemen we're looking at the adida uh, class a drift yosemite or yosem whatever the hell this call I've got absolutely no idea. And what do we think, ladies and gentlemen? Well, it's a flatbed pickup truck, isn't it? To be quite frank with you, it's the Yosemite. And what do we think? Uh, I'm not all, uh, not all that uh, taken by these sort of vehicles. You know, I know a lot of people do uh, appreciate the old-fashioned American uh, vehicles, but uh, to me, uh, yes, they, I think it's more of a cultural thing, you know. And unfortunately, uh, I see little, uh, little to draw me in. Okay, let's try and get to the top of this hill, shall we? It's called the Climb Car, or at least uh, Ken Boxes. And my God, it couldn't get up that hill. Could it? Jesus Christ, it took forever. Okay, well, then, my ladies and gentlemen, we're going right, to take it on down there, take it on down the streets here and see how she handles, right? Okay, right, can't seem to do it. Right, handling's a bit funny there. Okay, don't want to go out over quickly because it, uh, it is a drift car, ladies and gentlemen, so one expects if uh, one's a little bit too heavy on the steering, we're going to, uh, we're going to lose it. Okay, let's check out uh, how much air we're getting. Quite a lot of air there, ladies and gentlemen. Right, okay, right, sort of cut out that, uh, that second hill. That really is rather a shame. Okay, yes, but we got we got quite a lot of air, listen, so it could be quite fast, you know. Okay, sorting hell, right? Okay, right. And I'm on my roof. Okay, well, how that sort of things not often happen, you know, ladies and gentlemen. A terrible shame that it has on this occasion. Oh well, never mind, listen. We'll try and get back on, right? If I can keep the darn thing going in a straight line. Okay, yes. Yeah, so what do we think, ladies and gentlemen? Well, let's test out the stability, shall we? Right. Okay, sorting. Right. Okay. And now I've run into another bloody car, and I'm spinning the sorting car. Right, okay, yes, well, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, as you uh, may well be able to ascertain by the video, uh, handling rather sketchy, ladies and gentlemen, yes, you know, it is a drift vehicle, you know, a drift uh, truck or van, I suppose, no, entire, no, entire, I said, now one would uh, uh, defy sodding hell. Right, okay, now I've got him crashed into some... Right, we're really not having the best of luck, am I, ladies and gentlemen, to be quite frank with you. are making a rather shocking and appalling effort of this. Uh, so, as well as I say, yes, as one may expect, ladies and gentlemen, from a drift vehicle, do you know, uh, the handling is rather iffy, you know. Acceleration, I uh, just seem to want to wheel spin all the way up the road before it gains any traction. Uh, and top-end speed, uh, it not entirely some car, be certain, you know, ladies and gentlemen. It did seem to get a lot of air down those hills, you know. I only caught the one on the camera there. Uh, and I'll span out again. Uh, and yes, there we go, trying to get it back to the uh, to the offices. And here we go, taking it on inside. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Well, here we go. We're going to uh, take it on into the uh, the custom auto shop, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and go uh, 
have this vehicle upgraded. Okay, and here we are uh, inside the custom auto shop, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, we will be going through this stage of the video at double speed, you know, just uh, in order to hurry things along somewhat. But also, uh, we'll provide you with uh, with an opportunity to have a look at the, uh, the modifications that can be affected to this vehicle should you choose to go ahead and purchase it, you know, you'll have an idea of the modifications and uh, the prices related to it, you know, and that is uh, effectively uh, the whole purpose of this section of the video. Uh, it will also give us, uh, just sort of provide us with a chance to uh, have uh, the initial review of the uh, of the vehicle as well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, unmodified, of course, on that uh, first test lap. Uh, and so what do we think of the uh, the drift, uh, I want to say the drift tamper, but it's not, is it? This is drift Yosemite or the Yosemite, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, what do we think? Well, uh, perfectly, perfectly serviceable in terms of a, a drift vehicle, you know, if anyone, uh, if you're familiar with uh, with Ken Block, you know, and his, uh, like I say, his Jim Carter and his climb, or his Jim Carter cars uh, specifically, you know, you may well be aware that he has his, uh, his climb Carter as well. Uh, and this is clearly a homage to that vehicle, you know, I am uh, quite a fan of Ken Block. I do like his, uh, do like the Jim Carter, not taken by the Klein Carter, you know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, but I sort of a big fan anyway of uh, Mr. Block there, and I'm only too happy to go and purchase this vehicle, you know, uh, very frequently, I'll go and purchase the latest vehicle and decide it's not for me and go and sell it, uh, as with something like the Zahaba or something like that. Uh, but uh, with this, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'll be keeping it, you know, it's a, it's a, a mod, as you may well be aware, ladies and gentlemen, if you've seen any of my other videos, not particularly uh, overall with the, uh, with the drift vehicles themselves, you know, but uh, I am, like, as I say, rather taken with the uh, with the Jim Carter and the Climb Carter. So yes, I think I'll be keeping this. Okay, we're going through there. As you can see, we're at the colours now, ladies and gentlemen. So thankfully, that does mean we're getting to, uh, towards the end of this stage of the video. And uh, with a little bit of luck, we will shall be uh, leaving the custom auto shop uh, in the uh, in the near future. We'll be able to take it on a, a secondary lap, ladies and gentlemen, uh, with the vehicle fully upgraded. You know. Okay, and uh, there we go, applying the liveries to it uh, and whatnot, or the liveries, liveries, I've got no idea why I wasn't supposed to pronounce that, you know. Uh, and yeah, I, uh, that's just about going to do the job, you know. Okay, I think I'm going to go for a little bit of a color change on the back there, maybe go for silver, can't see any kind of gray, I think I'll just slap the silver on, there we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, well, thank goodness that took rather a long time, didn't it, you know? And we're getting a call for an LJT, and we're going to ignore that. Okay, well, we're all spinning a great deal to start with there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we, okay, the acceleration does seem rather improved now, doesn't it? Another phone call, sod off, Simeon, for God's sake, right? Okay, nearly losing it round that corner. Uh, so what do we think, ladies and gentlemen? Well, the acceleration does seem improved now, doesn't it? Yes, I mean, the acceleration was lacking before the top speed. Yes, noticeably improved as well, ladies and gentlemen, you know? Uh, okay, let's check out the uh, handling on this bottom right-hand corner, and we're sliding it round, and yes, not too bad. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, well, there we go, you know? Uh, it does seem to be a sort of... Right, I'm going to try and slide between it. Don't worry, I don't want to try and slide between those. Keep sort of... Don't seem to be able to get through them too easily. I'll just go around them, I think. Yes, okay, so what was I saying now? Ah, yes, uh, yes, it does seem to be sodding hell, right? Uh, yes, I was sort of butchered that last corner, now have me, that really is rather a rotten shame. Uh, yes, I say uh, the, the modifications do seem to have improved this vehicle uh, quite quite noticeably, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I think we're just going to uh, take it uh, around that bottom left-hand corner one more time, see if we can get it to slide out, you know. Did sort of uh, scupper it the first time, you know. Uh, yeah, so it does say the modifications do seem to have made it quicker and a uh, uh, better acceleration there, ladies and gentlemen. It really didn't, uh, it really wasn't much pointing going back to that second attempt or so. Whoops, it is, it's right, almost lost the solid thing, bloody hell. Okay, well, never mind, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it does appear that we uh, no longer have Mr. Raccoon uh, able to assist us with these videos, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to take it on to the top speed track, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and we're going to uh, take it on up there now and see, how, uh, see what sort of uh, top speed we can get. Okay, well here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the uh, the top speed track, and we're going to go ahead and put it down now. Uh, uh, this is a muscle car, ladies and gentlemen, so it's not going to compete with anything, uh, any of the, the sports cars or the supercars. You know, uh, there really is uh, no expectation of uh, anything along those lines. But we're going to put it down, uh, put it down the straight anyway, and see what it can do. And uh, now it is worth pointing out, ladies and gentlemen, this car is not really built for top speed. You know, like I say, it's not a supercar. Uh, this car uh, the vehicle is designed uh, specifically for sliding around and drifting and having a jolly good time so we, we shouldn't expect too much really and we haven't got a sodding lot have we
me, Jesus, look at that, right, okay, one minute, three seconds, that really is absolutely shocking, you know, okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, here we go, this is the slam van, you know, the vapid slam van, and we're uh, going to send this on down the, uh, down the old uh, top speed track, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and we're going to see uh, what sort of time this does it, and it should be pointed out, of course, that uh, this has been uh, modified across the board, ladies and gentlemen, but this isn't any kind of specific uh, vehicle, this is just the, uh, the standard slam van, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, or rather not yet, okay, yes, we're uh, waiting, 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 yes, one minute three, exactly the same, so yeah, it's not particularly good, okay, let's go, well, the next question, I suppose, is uh, what can the Drift Tampa do, you know, the uh, the uh, the other uh, sort of a uh, Ken Block style car, uh, now, again, ladies and gentlemen, this is a sports car, you know, it should be pointed out, this is not a muscle car, uh, and so this really uh, is not particularly fair in terms of comparison, uh, but we're going to put it down anyway, just to see uh, to see how she stacks up against her sister there. Okie dokie, yeah, we're heading, uh, taking a long time to get down there, aren't we, right here? Hopefully we'll be coming to the end now, and there we go, okay, crossing the line. Uh, and like I say, this is the uh, the original uh, the original Ken Block car, and 58 seconds, yeah, significantly faster, there we go. Okay, well, we'll bring it back to a muscle, ladies and gentlemen, a muscle car. This is the uh, the Hellfire, don't you know, the, uh, the Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire. Uh, this is a muscle car, ladies and gentlemen, uh, released, I do believe, as part of the Casino DLC. Could be wrong with that, but I do believe that was the case. Uh, and uh, we're going to put it on down there straight now. Obviously, it's not a van, ladies and gentlemen, but it is in the same class. Uh, and so I think it's only, uh, I think this is uh, fair to put this down. And we're going to send it on down the straight there, and let's see what we get. Okay, and 54 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. So there we go, nearly, nearly uh, 10 seconds faster. It's only 9 seconds faster, you know. And there we go. Okay, so we're bringing, uh, bringing uh, the old, uh, the, the old clan car back to the. Uh, Back to the base bank offices now. So, what do we think, ladies and gentlemen, of the uh, of the uh, drift uh, Yosemite? Well, uh, is it worth the money? I suppose a million dollars, ladies and gentlemen. If you like the Jim Carter, I mean uh, the uh, the drift tamper, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it's a it's a good accompaniment to it. If you don't like uh, drift vehicles, stay the hell away from it, for God's sake. That's what I say, you know. Uh, and uh, if you're uh, sort of torn between uh, whether you're looking for one drift vehicle, you don't know whether to go for the Yosemite or the drift tamper. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would recommend the Drift Tamper, you know, it is faster, it is uh, perhaps a little bit more fun to drive, but if you've already got that and you want to uh, sort of pair it up with this, then why not go ahead and do it, that's exactly what I've done, I'm perfectly happy with my purchase, you know. Okay, well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you, whoops a daisy, hope you've enjoyed this video, and as always, whoops a daisy, thank you for watching, right, sodding hell bloody cars, you know.